Triple A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Tonight, the rubber match of this three game series between the Norfolk Tides and the Gwinnett Stripers. So, digging in now, Richie Martin. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Martin is retired, and there's one away. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Malkin Canelo. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dean is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Digging in now, DJ Stewart. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Pulled toward right center field. Pache will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. At the plate, Steve Hamilton. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. swing and a shot hit down the corner nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball the one two hit out towards second throw to first is in time for the first down now at the plate Justin Dean the one one home Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. Outside in a full count, three and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Striding into the box, Charlie Culberson. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, two and two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Second inning set to go, and standing in is the DH, Pat Valaika. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Culberson ranging into the outfield. He's there and records the first down. Stepping in, Mason Williams. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Line drive to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. That is good. Stepping in, Stevie Wilkerson is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now the three and two pitch. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swing and a looper to left. Culberson trying to get there. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That is seven. The first baseman. In now, Ryan Mountcastle. 
And he takes a cold strike, too. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The set and the 2 2. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Christian Pache. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Grounded to short. Reined in. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Batting forward now is the DH. Yon Herbis Solarte. He'll swing it from the left side right here. The 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Stewart is there. Two down. Here's Yonder Alonzo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. In the air now, out to right field. Stewart is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Standing in, Adley Rutschman, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The one two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Now at the plate, Cedric Mullins. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Pache is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Into the box the now, Richie one. Martin. 0 for 1 here in the early Richie going. Martin. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. Hit high and deep to right center. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Now batting. The third baseman. Martin Stepping in now. Malkin Canella. In there. Now the throw. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. That just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Shea Langoliers. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now batting, Riley Unruh, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Unruh. Taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And there are two away now. Into the box now. Jack Lopez. He was hitless in the shutout last night. From the windup, the one one pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now.
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman, Malkin Canelo. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Gone to lead off the inning. So now to the plate, D.J. Stewart. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. The bat, number four, designated hitter, Pat Valenka. Into the box now, Pat Valenka fouled off. The one two hit on the ground out to short the second for one relay to Alonzo and they do turn the double play. Now so coming to the plate Mason Williams comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the two one is a breaking ball in off the plate. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. And the count will be full. 3-2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Down the first baseline. Foul. The 3-2 one more time. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Now at the plate, Stevie Wilkerson. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Steve Hamilton. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And it's fouled away. Hamilton on at first. Nobody out. To two balls and two strikes now. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Martin ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. How about it? Good so striding Charlie. forward now, Charlie Culberson. Charlie. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Williams is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. In now, Christian now Pache. Pache. He got on top of one and was a ground down Pache. victim last time. Pache. Now the one and one pitch is laid Pache. off for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Strike called. Now the throw down. He is not going to get him as he swipes second. Yeah. 
three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next, it'll be the fleet footed first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Hit softly on the ground to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Runner at first following the error. And digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Now a move over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. A ball and two strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one two delivery. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Now back. at the plate, Cedric Number Mullins 31. flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Don't want to forget about him. Runners on first with one down. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Right fielder looking up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate now, Richie Martin. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Still only one out in the inning. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now batting, the third base play. Now perhaps sensing he's going to look to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Into the box, Malkin Canelo. He loses him on ball four. Elian Leva takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. DJ Stewart will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He's set and the one two pitch. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Culberson on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and striding forward the designated hitter, Yonherva Solarte. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Now so striding base. in, Yonder Alonso. He flew out in his last oh at bat. Oh. Too high there, and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Liner toward right center. But this will hang up long enough for the center fielder to run under it as he makes the play for the second down. 
at the plate, Shea Langoliers. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Next will be the designated hitter, Pat Valaika. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Here's the one and one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And he fouls this one off. High in the air out to center field. has to roam straight back but he has it for the first out now, now in the box the Mason field. Williams it was a walk in his last trip line toward right center that's his first base hit making one for two now Standing in now, going, Stevie going, Wilkerson. Going. There goes the runner. A little behind on that swing, and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The ball and two strikes. Here it is. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Ready for another chance? Ryan Mountcastle. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Here now the 2 2. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Riley Unroe. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. He'll try it again, three and two. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. Jack Lopez hit on the ground down the first baseline and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Steve Hamilton. One out nobody on. Still even at two and two. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Hunter Harvey enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Hmm. 
Here's a look over to first, and he's back standing. And another throw over, and he'll dive back in. So now to the plate, Justin Dean hit sharply on the ground to the left, and that finds its way through for a base hit. To the plate now, Charlie Culberson. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. They pulled a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the now second back. time tonight. Digging in Let's once go. again, Christian Pache. Pache. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder giving chase, but this will land untouched. Another 2 2 offering. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Stepping in now, Jon Hervis Solarte. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Now battle. The first base hit, Yonder. Into the box now, Yonder Alonso. To two balls and two strikes now. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 2-2 two -two one more time. 3-2, Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter, Adley Rutschman, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Hit on the ground is short, scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Striding in, Cedric Mullins. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Number one. Digging in and looking for more, Richie Martin, two for three with a double on his line so far. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Brandon Klein gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Brandon. Standing in, Shea Langoliers. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And that is off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now back, second baseman, Riley Unruh. At the plate now, Riley Unroe. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Digging in, Jack Lopez trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Maybe too much break on the slider. 2-1. and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. This one skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ready now, Steve Hamilton. He singled his last time up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Tricky Toussaint has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number New inning set to get underway, and stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Malkin Canelo. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping up now, D.J. Stewart. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. Now the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. The bat, number four. Ready once Second again, Pat Valaika. It was a flyout for Valica. him in his last trip. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Isaac Matson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 84, Isaac Matson. Now with the plate, Justin Dean. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! In now, Charlie Culberson struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch now out of the game. Better fielder. So Christian. now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Christian Pache. He's working on a one for three thus far. Yeah, now that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Grounded weakly toward third. And that's the second out. Settling in now, Yonherba Solarte, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. Hits are even at seven apiece. 
And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be getting... Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Chris Russon comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 52. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Mason Williams. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season, and he's blown several saves up to this point. The 2-1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Second base. Ready for another mm -hmm. shot now, Stevie Wilkinson. Wilkerson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. And that's in there. Base hit. The first baseman, number two. Ryan Into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Stepping in and ready for another now shot, back. Adley Rutschman. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Now batting. Number 31. In for strike two. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. One and one. Here it is. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back days with two runners in. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Gwinnett wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Elian Leva wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Chris Russon retires the side to hammer down the save, his 24th on the season. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. First for the victorious Gwinnett Stripers. Five runs, seven hits, two errors, and they left three men on base. For the tie, three runs on eight hits, no errors, they left nine runners on base.